Hi, it's Anne here, and today's video is my 10th update for my Pan Matte palette for 2023. So the way I'm doing this is I have a custom palette that I put together at the beginning of the year, and I've been kind of rotating shadows through that, as well as working on some from like the very beginning. And then every quarter I've been doing a face palette or two face palettes, depending on what's in them. And those have been kind of rolling out every quarter, not really finishing anything in those, just trying to get use out of my face palettes. So let's start off with the face palette because it's it's the less exciting update. Um, so the face palette I'm working on is the Cover FX palette. It is the Perfector face palette in light medium. I'm going to show it to you, but you're going to be like, yeah, cool. That's what it looked like last month. So this is what it looks like today. Probably the only shade that's going to look like there's anything is the contour slash bronzer shade. Um, this shade, the setting powder does have like a dip in the middle of it. I definitely have been using it, um, but it's not really gonna, oh, oh, you can kind of see it there on the angle. I'll put up a side-by-side -side photo anyway, even though it's not really gonna show much. And I felt like last month when I did the side-by-side, -side, I was like, it looks less used in the like later photo because of the way I guess the light and the shadow kind of worked with that photo. I was like, oh, that, that was really not helpful at all. But, we do it anyway, just for the sake of taking the photos, because sometimes it is super helpful. Um, Cause seeing the product day to day, you don't really see a difference. And then when you see like the beginning of the month to the end of the month, you're like, oh, now I really see a difference. And there is a weight difference. So last month, this was 163.47 grams. It's now 162.98 grams. That's a difference of 0.49 grams. So not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that which is not bad considering this past month that was pretty sick and I didn't wear makeup for almost two weeks, which for me is like a lifetime. It might be the longest I've gone without wearing makeup since I started this channel, potentially. Like it was a lot, it was a long time. Anyway, let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. So, dun 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 dun, fan pair, dun 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 dun, dun dun. There's two empty shadows, yay! Last month it was like, if I don't finish those shadows, like what is wrong with me? Yeah, I finished them even without wearing a whole lot of makeup. I finished I finished the pink one like before I got sick. Um, and then the like light, this was a light brown shade. It took a little bit of effort, but uh, I definitely finished it. There's kind of like little teeny bits stuck in the corner there, but, but I'm calling it, she's done. I'm not gonna replace those. We'll see, we'll see how the next couple weeks go. If if I feel like I'm missing sort of like a mid-tone brown that I wanna put in there, I'll put it in, but I feel like this one I, I can get by with. Um, I am trying to focus on the white shade now. I was hoping to finish the white shade. I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, and yeah, nothing else is gonna get finished. So I'm just playing with everything else. Um, I did, I don't know if I talked about these in my last, video. I can't remember if I said, I, I knew I was going to put in new, a couple new shadows. So I always kind of thrown in one or two shadows, generally not tracking them, but this time I am tracking the one. Well, I, I did weigh both, but I'm going to keep this one in, in the rotation as well. But the one that I'm not keeping in the rotation is called Toad, Toadstool from Cleona. Let's give it a swatch because it's real pretty. It's got like a bit of a green shift with the brown base. It's beautiful. And like, it's one of those shades, even though like I kind of shy away from greens, but I wore this a few times this past month and you can pair it really nicely with like a burgundy shade and it looks really, really pretty, um, which is what I was doing or like a deeper, like a ruddy brown type shade looked beautiful. Um, let's just talk about the other shade too while we're here. So the other shade is called Illusion and it's from the brand Piranata. So both of those are Canadian brands. Piranata is like a clean beauty brand. Um, I bought two shades that were like almost identical. Illusion is the more, I think, I can't remember. I think Illusion is the less pinky and more champagne-y. So there's Illusion. Uh, again, it's a beautiful everyday. I find it's a great everyday kind of shade or I can mix it with stuff to kind of neutralize some shadows if I want to like tone things down a little, <laughs> um, not go so crazy. So I am going to keep illusion in the, in the mix. And I did weigh it when I put it in. So when I put illusion in, it was 4.12 grams. It is now 4.01 grams. I did not do my math, but that's a difference of, I think 0.11 grams. <laughs> let's do, let's do the math. 
I forgot to do the math. I did math in my head pretty quickly there. Go in. Um, and then toadstool, which I'm going to pull out. Actually, let's just keep it out now and probably pull something else in. Um, I, I will pull something else in. Not probably. I will. But this one was 3.71 grams. It's now 3.68 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.03 grams. Uh, the white shade. So actually, let's start the side by side because the side by side is very, very exciting. And then we'll get into the weights because there's two whole shadows that are different. And then I think everything else is going <laughs> to pretty much look the same. But really, really happy with those two shadows uh, being, being done. So that was like a big goal for me this year. I know they're tiny shadows. I don't finish shadows very easily. I don't hit pan on shadows very easily. So it's a big win for me to finish up two shadows. So the white one was 122 uh, grams last month. It's now, or sorry, 121 grams last month. It's 100. Wow, I can read. <laughs> Let's, let's start that again. So the white square was 1.21 grams last month. It's now 1.17 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.04 grams. The pink square, the weights, the weights kind of went funny on this. <laughs> um, I, don't, I, I don't know. We'll take this one with a grain of salt. Last month it was 0 0.97 grams. It's finishing at 0 0.78 grams. I don't, I don't know why that is. <laughs> Um, such a drastic change, but apparently it's 0 0.19 grams or something. Something's off there on that one. Um, and in total, like that shade was in from the beginning of the year. I used 0 0.56 grams and then the sort of mid-tone pinky brown, uh, that was from the NYX Warm Neutrals palette. It was 1.16 grams, it, or sorry, 1.01 .01 grams. It finished at 0 0.98 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.03 grams. And in total, I used 0 0.49 grams. This uh, deeper brown, also from the NYX Warm Neutrals palette, was 1.16 grams. It's now 1.13 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.03 grams. This uh, beige color, this is from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. It's the white chocolate shade. And last month, this was... Sorry, just trying to read my lines here. It was 4.74 grams. It's now 4.68 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.06 grams. This uh, gray shade was from a Maybelline quad, and last month it was 3.53 grams, and it's now 3.49 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.04 grams. And then this one was from a Rimmel palette. It's uh, just a, a dark brown. Uh, I don't know which one it was from specifically. It was either the Spice Edition or the Crimson Edition. And last month it was 2.1 grams. It's now 2.01 grams. That's a difference of 0 0.09 grams. These two have actually seen good movement. Um, I've really been into wearing, although I'm not doing it today, but wearing deeper eyeshadows. It's just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling <laughs> One thing is, so I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm feeling moody, I go for deeper things. Although my nails are not showing it today because I had to switch it up because they were starting to get stained. But I've been wearing like black and I have like a deep red and like <laughs> just been wearing like deeper nail polishes, some deeper eyeshadows, maybe going a little emo. <laughs> with my mood and my makeup. Um, so these are getting a little bit more action and I'm trying to use them a bit more. And I find like, like this gray is not as deep as I think it is. Um, looking at it in the pan, it actually does sort of blend out into like a nice sort of sheer gray tone color. And it's great for like, again, neutralizing something that might be, I want to, cool a look down. I don't want the look to be so warm. So mixing in like a shade like this really works well to do that. And it works like you can mix it. Like I'll take, like even if I just took these two together, like they mix together fairly nicely because they're both fairly lighter or like thinner shadows, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how this has worked out this year. I am going to do something different next year, but something like this might still exist. <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't like, I'm definitely not going to do my focus palette like this, but I potentially might have a palette where I'm working on some eyeshadows ad hoc. I don't know. Anyway, that is my update. We only have one more update. The finale, the finale for this project is the next update. What the heck? <laughs> what happened to this year? It just flew by like that. It's crazy. Um, anyway, I hope you liked this update. If you did, feel free to give a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.